knocked over, flooding, roofs being torn off. Electricity, fuel, food, all those are slow coming into the county. People are in desperate mode. Just seeing the trees and the debris everywhere just seems like such an overwhelming task to, for anybody to take on alone. Seeing all of the devastation and the flooding um, in our area made me and my husband want to come and help people clean up. I feel blessed and privileged to be able to help other families just to help them see light at the end of the tunnel, that they will re be able to resume their normal lives again. The reason that Samaritan's Purse responds to a disaster like Hurricane Irma is to share the love of Jesus Christ. It's to help our neighbors and their, some of them, it's their darkest time. They don't know how to move forward. We're wanting to make the contact with the people that we can help today so that we can get in there and find out what those needs are and address them as quickly as possible. And one of the things that we're able to help do is to pray with them, to calm them down, to show them that there is a hope for tomorrow. If I start crying on here, bear with me, but uh, I got here and there were three pickup trucks in my driveway uh, and three or four vehicles on the side of the road. Uh, at least 12 people here in my yard uh, putting the blue tarp on uh, three or four different places on my roof to prevent the leakage. They took all the debris out of my yard and, and placed it out in the street. Every one of them was very jovial and happy that they could be here in the name of Jesus Christ to come here and take care of us to get us out of this uh, dilemma we have. I just had cancer surgery and it's hard to me to do things without doing one thing and then going down and take a nap for a little while. So uh, this was a real godsend. And then we all got in a circle uh, and got this Bible. Everyone signed it with well wishes to us and uh, praising the Lord that they could help us and, and be here. Thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for John and Kathy. We pray that you keep them wrapped in your loving arms. In Jesus' precious name I pray, amen. Amen. As they wrapped things up, the pastor and the chaplain came out and talked about the Lord Jesus. Uh, he explained to me a lot of things that uh, I really didn't know. Now I have accepted the Lord as my Savior. Samaritan Purse people go out there and put smiles on everybody's faces and make me cry whenever I talk about it. So uh, we're going to be stronger in our faith and work towards having a better relationship with God. There aren't words enough to express how you feel deep inside when someone comes out here and, and gives of themselves and all their time for nothing, just in the name of the Lord, to come in here and help me and Kathy get through this. There just aren't words to say enough on uh, what they did for me.